I want to build this rhino kit that I've had lying around for a while. And it would be cool to have some sort of overhead shot from here. I'm imagining some sort of arm that would attach to this free spot on this shelf. And then a phone can attach to it and have a top down view. Or maybe even something that goes underneath this shelf and screws in from the bottom. Well, that's not good. Before I make the overhead arm, I want to make a quick release for this tripod. I bought these quarter by 20 screws that I will use. Let's take some measurements and jump into fusion. I begin by making the trapezoid base and extruding it. I make a hole for the screw and chamfer to match the head. I'm going to extrude the base up because I need clearance for the latch and because I want it to be thicker so the bolt does not pull through. Now I sketch the alignment peg. Uh, extrude all that out. And now we're ready to export and go to Prusa Slicer. I'll orient the part. And this trim will need support. I also add some to the cone, but realistically, that would have probably been fine. I'll set the infill to 50% slice and it'll take just over two hours. Again, we start with measurements, then in Fusion, I created a sketch for the main body and extrude it. I made this slider and a screw to hold it in. I offset the female threads by 0.2 millimeters so it can have some clearance. This will not fit on my bed, so I split it using an offset plane and then add some simple pegs to join the two halves. The back piece also has a screw that is the same thread as the front screw. I duplicated the front screw and then make a copy that is a little bit shorter. We head off to Prusa and it's a pretty full plate.
while printing, some of it started delaminating, so I tried to add hot glue to save it. It didn't really work, but at least it kept the piece on the plate so that it didn't make everything else fail. That back piece failed pretty badly, but the front is salvageable. Here's how it holds the phone, and you can see this one almost came off too. After leveling the bed and reprinting the back, it came out okay the second time. I changed the angle as well, uh, just in case if there was anything weird with the plate, and this seemed to work. I've tightened it and loosened it a few times and it's already delaminating at this seam because of the direction of the pressure from the screw. It's sort of perpendicular to the plane that we were printing on. And really this back piece should have been printed sideways so that the force wasn't trying to delaminate layers. But some structural tape fixed it right up. And other than that, this will do. The last thing I want to make is a phone holder for the tripod. We kind of get this for free from our existing designs. I made a copy of the existing project, plain cut mostly a necessary back arm, and then sketched the wedge on the bottom of this piece. I export all of that all over again and off to the printer. First layer looks good. This one will take a while. Here they are cleaned up. Let's remove this camera and test the new mount. We have clearance for the lever and this all fits snugly as expected. And now with that arm that we made, I can get cool overhead shots like these. I've been thinking about making this for a while. Ever since I was little, I always had ideas of making things and I liked to tinker, but in a lot of ways I was limited by what I knew or what I didn't know, I guess. So it fascinates me now when an idea, however simple like these tripod mounts, can go from something in my head to a physical working object, either for hobby projects like this or something at work. That excitement of looking at something physical and saying, I made that. From a handful of electrons on synapses in your brain, to a sketch on a napkin, to CAD, then to manufacture, and now it's here serving a functional purpose. But making this video was scary at first, and it still is. I made this channel two months ago, had some project ideas, had a vision, and then it just sat there for two months because I was afraid. In some ways, it sat there like this rhino kit, just sat on a shelf for a while. A sort of imposter syndrome took over, like I couldn't do it. And maybe I can't, time will tell I guess. 
But the point of calling this DIY spark is because I wanted to spark something in people to encourage you all to make something to convert those ideas in your head into something. This isn't necessarily going to be a tutorial channel. There are plenty of tutorials on how to use Fusion or 3D Print or make a PCB or whatever else I end up making here. My goal is just to spark something in you guys and maybe, just maybe, spark something in me. Oh wait, it said dino, not rhino.